Hey, welcome to the video. I wanted to just um, put something together here. The recent um, things that I had to do to the snowblower. It's, um, it's been around a little while and, and I actually bought it used from a guy in my neighborhood. I had it errands before and I can't remember. This is um, an MTD yard machine. 8 horsepower, 26 inch, I thought it was 28 inch cut, got chains, light, all that stuff. Um, what had happened, um, unbeknownst to me, is I didn't, I wasn't checking the, um, the skid shoes like I should have been. And all of this repair started with this tire we're looking at here just kept going flat on me. So like whenever I would go out to do the driveway, I would just bring a bicycle pump, fill it up. And then uh, another thing that was compounding the problem is the skid shoe that was on that, on this side that we're looking at right now, was all messed up. So it was it was too low on this side, and it was like digging into the ground. It was, you know, it just wasn't performing well. And then um, I started uh, kicking it, you know, and like it would get bent, and I would try to kick it out, and, you know, I was kicking. And uh, what happened was this, this part, like down in here, developed like a rip. And um, actually, underneath, I can't show you, but the underneath part of the snow blower, like um, this part right here, that was that was ripped too. I didn't I didn't know that. So yeah, it, what started out as a simple fix the tire thing, which uh, basically I put a tube in there to do that. If I can, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use the YouTube video editor, but if I can, I'll try to insert some pictures, uh, some still pictures. Um, Mr. Gamash helped me out a lot. A friend of mine at work uh, did some of the welding for me, fixed fixed the bottom of it, and fixed the side. So I'm pretty convinced that once I, you know, now that now that that tire has a tube in it, it's not going to leak anymore. And you know, I, I have the proper shoes on. Actually, these aren't the proper shoes. These. Uh, go for an errands machine, but they're a little bit more chunky and beefy and I was gonna get plastic ones and Ones with wheels and this and that but you know at the end of the day I just got the the errands ones because they're just good chunk of steel. And I also bought a new scraper bar inside And um, you know while I was at it took the inside apart uh, Some of the auger, you know had some dent dented uh, you know little little out of shape. I kind of shaped it back together Got everything in there and the height set when I bought this snowblower. I, uh, I didn't really buy it My other one had died and um, I made a deal with this guy in my this guy, this guy in my neighborhood is missed his, his sign in front of his yard is mr. Ed and he has every time you drive by his house in the summertime you know, he has summer equipment out there. In the wintertime, he has snowmobiles. He always has, he's always selling power equipment out in front of his house. And I, I got to get, I got to get in touch with this guy. So what happened was when the errands died out, which I bought brand new, um, you know, he, he's kind of like, ah, it's not really worth fixing, yada, 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 whatever. We made a deal for this, this MTD, you know, so a little bit lesser of a machine, but I really, I really like this thing. I like the way that it's put together. It, uh, you can really work on it and all that. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, and plus the guys in my neighborhood, so I figured, geez, i got to get this guy to help me. Um, another shout-out on this video is to uh, DonnieBoy73. Um, he's a YouTuber, and it's just, just amazing. He's like a mechanic, I believe, from uh, Canada. And when I first got the MTD snowblower, I, um, you know, just Googled, because I had no idea how to take it all apart. I had to take it apart. And um, I basically painted it because the front of it was all rusty and, and uh, it was mechanically good, but um, yeah, it didn't need anything else. But I, I found some of his videos on, on YouTube and it's just, uh, I mean, it's a library, a wealth of, of any kind of power tool that you have or power equipment. I mean, if, I, I guarantee you he's, he's done something about it, uh, including like the complete breakdown of this MTD machine. I, I've, I've looked at his videos, you know, I subscribed to him back then, like maybe four years ago, and um, my memory's not as good as it used to be, so when I had to take this apart again this year, I kind of actually had to refer to those videos once again, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just amazing. Um, there's like one, there's one little, uh, one little trick that I learned from him, there's like a little, uh, 
there's a little screw in the carburetor. It's not really a jet, but it kind of, this is a, one of the uh, newer carburetors, so it just has a dump, dump valve on the bottom. It doesn't have any adjusting for the jet or anything like that. There's no adjustment, and it was like surging a little bit. You know, take out this one screw, uh, little trick of his. There's, there's like a little air jet in there. You just unclog it, put it back in, and it's just running fine. The guy's just just amazing, and I just can't really thank him enough. I don't, I never talked to him or anything like that. I think I sent him some tips. I'm not tips. Um, you know, some thank you uh, comments and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh, send this off to him and um, you know thank him once again. Uh, once again, I was uh, this time I changed the uh, all the rubber belts. Uh, you know the, the transmission belt, the two belts for the auger, and then while I'm in there, I'm looking at the uh, friction wheel, and I go, "Geez, I might as well, might as well change that too." You know, so of course I I, I typed it into the uh, internet search uh, on YouTube, and here's Donnie Boy 73 with a video from 2009 um, on just how to do it, and it, you know it was just uh, again I just can't thank him enough for for doing all that, and uh, I really appreciate it. Another thing I did, I don't, I don't really have a, I never really had a problem with this one, but while we, while I was uh, going after it, I, I'm I'm seeing how people are talking about adding adding rubber to the uh, to the second stage impeller here to help scrape you know scrape this out a little better. So I I basically took a, a tire and um, you know cut cut sections off of tire and then made like a little chamfer right here it's not it's not pressing against this housing really hard at all but uh it, it fills a gap it's like well if you think about it you know when they're manufacturing this stuff it uh you know it, they get a, you get a metal impeller in there inside this me round metal housing that of course they got to build in some kind of clearance you know and, and it and it works but typically what would happen is that little gap like right where i'm pointing that's that's like a gap right in there on mine. It was like almost three eighths of an inch. So eventually, what will happen is, um, you know, it, it starts to build up. You know, the chute starts to clog, and um, yeah, uh, I haven't tried it in the snow yet, but um, I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't wouldn't improve. You know, the the analogy that it keeps sticking in my head is kind of like the way a spatula or the way you scrape a bowl. You know, so it's it's basically when these are spinning around now, they're scraping the inside of this and uh, giving you a little bit better performance in the shoot. So we'll see how all that goes. But other than that, um, I mean, she's ready to go. I'm just kind of putting uh, putting everything back together. It's a pretty, pretty old machine. I mean, like I said, I like it. Uh, the things I wanted on this machine that my other one didn't have is I wanted tire chains. Um, you know, it was nice to have a light on there. You know, it's not the most perfect light, but it works. And uh, it definitely has more power. You know, my other one, I think, it was like a five-horse, two-stage errands or something like that. So this is eight, you know, 26. I could have sworn when I bought the scraper blade it was 28, but it says 26 inch right on the front there, so I'm gonna have to take my word for it. I mean, take their word for it. <laughs> anyway, um, quick video for really all those people that that uh, you know helped me get this done. You know, Mr. Gamash for the welding. A friend of mine from work, I can't thank him enough. And Donnie Boy, um, 73, I, I recommend if you just if you have any kind of power equipment at all that you need to know something about, Google it and Google his name, and I, I could almost guarantee that he's done a video about it. You know, chainsaws, leaf blowers, lawnmowers, snow blowers, I mean, you name it. It's just, just everything out there. I'll try to link some of his stuff in the description and um, pop in some photos of... Mr. Gamash's good welding job for me. All right, uh, thanks again for hanging in here with me and watching the video, and um, see you next time.